What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to a new video. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I wasn't even gonna record anything today because I'm hungover. <laughs> I don't even get hangovers, so. But anyways, um, here we are. Follow up with says poly drug addict Juliana, aka Diamond. You guys remember Diamond the other day, purple hair. <sighs> Just all the way out there. Well, you guys asked for a follow-up. I checked. There is a part two. So let's get to it. Oh. Hi, Juliana. Hi. Oh, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Really good. Oh, no. How's your night? It's cold it right great. now. Freezing cold last night. Yeah. Wait, did she say, when he asked, how's your night, did she say sucker free? How's your night? It's cold it right great. now. Sucker free. Suck freezing free. cold last night. Yeah. You still in love with Skid Row? All right, I'm so in love with Skid Row. What do you love about it, honey? Down here. I love about Skid Row is the fact that I can make going up in the smoke so tasty treats. You can what? Going up in the air, blowing up the smoke like tasty treats. <laughs> People are getting killed and murdered and fentanyl, ODs, everything. Yeah. Every night. Like, I smoked some poison last night, too. And I was like, I need a pound of meth. And they're like, really? Like, you want us to be like, hey, yeah. What kind of poison did you, did you smoke? She said, I need a pound of meth. I smoked rat poison. What? Rat poison. Rat poison? Yeah. It helps, it helps loosen up excrement, shins from your <laughs> bowels, from being rat poison. Medical tip. And so it was like, he said medical tip. She said she smoked some rat poison and it loosened up the excrementations of the bow wows. Let's hear that again because I might have missed something because apparently he said medical, not me. That is not. Stay away from it. Do not do that. Do not try this at home. Excrement shins from your bow wells from being rat bitten. Medical tip. And so it was like, ah, and I'm like, whoa, I think I'm doing rat, right? And he was like, hey, we need a rat, and that bitch is kept a wiki wipe. You're trying to have a stroke and not day of my day today, day today is day is day. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm tasty. <laughs> I stayed up one night, and it was so cold. I got when he burped and fed all at once. So I was like, well, that's a lot of You experiment with a lot of different drugs? Yes, I do. You do? Mm -hmm. You've tried PCP? I love it. You tried, like, you tried crack? Oh, I love it. <laughs> and uh, crystal meth is your favorite, I think, right? Yes, it's a very formidable, affordable cancer treatment. It's a cancer but, treatment. Yes, it's for pain level. Well, I do find it interesting that nobody's getting sick down here. You don't see anyone with flus or colds or COVID. Yes, I love it because they have a real vaccine. And it's a one. Man, did you see her adjust her hat, AKA her hair? <laughs> This lady is crazy. She has a rubber band around her finger. She might be engaged, guys. T.I., the rubber band man, put a ring on it. One time, one shot Johnson and Johnson, and I got it, and I felt most amazingly all of a sudden. Like, it was just amazing. Like, I was completely free of COVID-19. So you, you got the COVID shot? I got the Johnson and Johnson one time shot. Good for you. <laughs> Unless you're doing something responsible. It was so great. I put my medical name tag in my backpack, put it on my bag, and I was like, yeah, I got two $20 so my gift cards. So, so back to the street drugs, which, which ones do you not like? I not like overdose bags. Because it makes me think, am I doing something dosing wrong? Like, like, have you OD'd on uh, fentanyl? Never. Have you tried fentanyl? Yes. And I was like, that's cream out of the funny looks ones, baby. But she's like, hey, it's mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, what, so you're, you're in a particularly interesting mood this morning. What, what did you smoke or? I smoked rat poison. So rat, <laughs> this is rat poison that we're seeing on you? I, I smoked rat poison, but I smoked a shrimp stick with my friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she said. She smoked some rat poison, but she chased it with a sherm stick. Oh my God, this is sherm? This lady is a beast. Oh, check her out, she got that gold rope chain. Uh, 
You think she got that from Swifty? And I asked him, gave him a poison bag, and he was like, oh, I got hit by a car ride, so my like, bicycle is worth like $2,500. And so, like, is it a too jinky blip $500? And, and you've been up all night? Yeah. What do you do all night? Do you turn dates? Do you do? Oh, yeah. I get fucked all the time in Green Park every day. So I'm like, there's cum everywhere. So I'm like, little Kim, I'm just right there, right before you. Blah. Blah. <laughs> Oh my God, eh? I don't even want to. I don't want to rewind. That was crazy. How many? How many days will you do? In a oh, I'll make a way to be awake. I was awake for 2,025 days before, and they had to take me to a rested area, and they had to give me a pillow, and they had to rock me to sleep. Oh, hold on, eh? Let's let's go back a second. Hold on. <laughs> how many how many days will you do? In a oh, I'll make a way to be awake. I was awake for 2,025 days before, <laughs> and they had to take me to a rested area. What is that? Eh? That's, that's like almost seven years, right? That's minimum five years, right there. She was awake for five years straight, but then they rocked her to sleep after they gave her a pillow. <laughs> and they had to give me a pillow, and they had to rock me to sleep. After 2,000 days. Yeah. I believe it. 2,002 days. Because I was like, if I go to school and I take overdose of med shots, like I was like, Psh, like all these needles everywhere. Because it's from my hypoglycemia. So you're, you're not always in this mood, but sometimes you are. And I, I just, maybe it's the rat poison that's making you do this. It is. And the rat poison is like, because I bit her scalp, vampire. And I was like, oh, okay. Hello, good morning. How are you all? I am the timing of the cigarette. That's burning. And I put my cigarette in it first. And I accidentally put my cigarette in it, right? And I had no idea what it was. And so I'm lighting it, I'm smoking it, and I'm bringing it into my lungs. And I'm like, that's the best orgasm I've ever tasted. And I'm like, <laughs> wet is like slipping, falling down, can't get up. So the COVID these, shot was like amazing. So some of these drugs help you with your sexual. Enjoyment. Yes, I think the COVID-19 shot cured me from the COVID-19. No, but I'm, I'm talking about your, your sexual enjoyment. Yes, it took away all the sloppy second cum that was ugly out of my lungs. Because my daughter is there like, mm, mm, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, about the PCP or them. the crystal meth or the uh, rat poison. So it's, yes, it's a testifying treatment for rat bites. It's a little bit of meth. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. That looks like a different person though, right? But she's posing. She got her nails did. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. The rat urine. And it makes aromatic cleaning from the bloodline of um, moccasin water blood snakes. And I had gotten a venomous poisonous snake stop in my lung before. Oh. Oh, man, Mark did a photo shoot with her. I was waiting for the camera to do the regular thing and go down. Oh, man. Eh. That's what it is. It's going around in my body like this. Is your life down here on Skid Row just like an endless party? It is. It's supposed to be celebrating cancer research funds for what happened to Carly. And Carla. And I'm Another like, yeah, the rich Carl Lilton. That time she, he said, hold your breath. Hold your breath. And look at She followed orders. She's a rebel. You know what? I'm going to keep it real. This is making my hangover worse. This is my, like my stomach's upset right now. Do you have a boyfriend, do you have a boyfriend down here? Oh my yes. God. You do? Yes. He gave me an outfit. And it looks like this and this. I'm imagining. Don't do another picture. It's nice that you have somebody. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh. He, he, he allows you to go out on these dates. And, and yes. Make, make he told me we to celebrate every day. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, Mark is a fucking freak, man. Mark, don't leave this one up for a long time. Come on. Okay. As I want to fast I want to fast forward that. Rings, one big and one small, and one small and one big, so that we cherish each other. Because why wouldn't we have two little halos for our daughters or our sons? We'd like to present them with the wreath. I've got you now. 
Can't move your arms. This is weird. And so you'll spend the, the last night was very cold. It's probably in the yeah. high thirties, low forties. Mm -hmm. You're you're in a tent all night. Yes. With our leg out. And I was like trying to stay away, keeping my blood warm. And I realized it's because it's called refrigerated mix for them, so that they cherish you or safe. Like they're like, oh, something is new in their movie. And I heard rat eggs are contagious contaminants of COVID-19, and that's what the shot's about. And it leaves. Oh, they're going to demonetize this because she's using that word too much. How does her head, where does she get these wigs from? And why are they all like crusty, but in the same fashion? Like, I think if we did a side by side, they're, it's messed up in the exact same way. Ah, this lady, ma'am. They're not going to monetize this. And soft shell egg that looks like a clee piece of penicillin peel. And that's called a snake venom egg from a rat. And that's when the <laughs> other rat drink human. A snake venom egg that comes from a rat. Holy cow. Drink. And they say, we're not contagious. We are invited. Ju Juliana, let me ask you some of the questions I ask everyone else I interview. What, what were you like in high school? I was very fat. Baddest girl there was. You were very what? Fat. You were? Biggest, fattest girl there was. Really? Yeah. And I said, nobody cares about me. Mm. Because my entire family died on a ship and they drowned. And then my dad had me cloned to bring them back to life. And then I found out later that it was all a hoax to get me to birth his babies. What the f What? <laughs> I'm trying to be quiet right now. Oh my God. This is, I'm not doing this whole damn video. This is too crazy. Again, this is one of those ones I should have warned you guys about. Do not smoke weed. If you, if you just lit one, put it back out. Because next thing you know, you're going to have a rebel shirt on. And he keeps fucking me and my asshole. And he got plastic surgery and he looks so perfect. And I told him, don't cut your dick off. But I understand you used to dress like a woman. And you had your, your um, dick pushed out. And you got balls and stuff. <laughs> it's easy to give yourself a look of classic beauty. But his pimp was standing next to him. And I said, you're here for me. So I said, that's your girlfriend, isn't it? I want to turn herself into a man. I was like, she hit my wings with his, her car. And then she got scared and cut my friend's dick off and glued it to her. Tried to make me suck it and then we were going to razor it up in my throat. Diamond, what to? Uh... Because they're so cold, right? I was like, what could we do with warm up a big bomb? What, what do you worry about? What do you, are you scared of anything? No, I'm never scared of anything. You're never scared of anything? Never. Are you, ever, you ever get depressed or anything? You're just... I never get depressed. You, you always seem... I see you every day pretty much, and you always seem in a pretty good mood. Oh, I'm always in a great mood. It just takes a lot of energy for my calories to catch up to my body. So you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I can't even repeat that. What did she say? It takes a long time for her calories to catch up with her body? Or her body to... What did she say? Oh, I'm always in a great mood. It just takes a lot of energy for my calories to catch up to my body. So, so the weight that you lost since high school, you lost how? Getting the plastic diet surgery <laughs> of having them remove my stomach and my intestines. So everything goes down into my mouth. It takes seven seconds to reach my anus. <laughs> <laughs> her stomach and her intestines and when she swallows it takes seven seconds for that food to hit her anus oh my god <laughs> hypoglycemia because <laughs> there's tarantulas that pull down goes down <coughs> into my mouth it takes seven seconds to reach my anus they call it hypoglycemia they call that hypoglycemia because there's tarantulas that pull down the food and they infect their bodies with it because anybody understands what a tarantula is. It pulls the food immediately and puts it on top of it like a wig. 
and then it moves its senses into the food and rubs it all over it. Like, oh my God. If I could get somebody to give me some cream brevet, give me some milk and honey, it would be called me. Mia. Honey. Honey. And I lick it, it looks like caramel, and it's called drizzled or delicate <laughs> over a pie. What the fuck? And they call it. What have we seen here? I mean, look, I'm, I'm laughing, and you know, I'm trying to enjoy this, but this is. Wow, this is like. She's lost in her own mind. She can't answer any question, huh? Call it pumpkin spicy. And it's available at Marie Callender's. I put it on the cake. And they call it pineapple crush. But they call it now. Like, I think let, let, let pineapple me ask you spike what, it. Let me ask you one of the questions I asked you last time. See if you have a different answer. What, uh, it's, what, it's one five does zero percent alcohol. I'm sorry? It's like one five does zero percent alcohol. Hmm. It's like liquid, um, calm, like a caramel. Okay. How do you say a what, what, Diamond, what, what would you say is the most important thing you've learned in your yeah. life? Um, I've learned to always let any man cream pie my dinner. I'm like, you never know when you're going to need a sperm sample or a swab. I'm sorry, say that again. I said I always recommend to get cream pie first. Cream pie is what? It's when they take a pie and they throw it at your face. And then call you a liar on the phone. And make a big disaster. And they're like, maybe you told me to, that we're acting and we're playing with our class. Because you're like, we want a whipped cream look bikini. And she was like, I got strawberries and whipped cream all over me. And then in real life, I had gotten a belt wrapped around my throat and I was whipped. And so I was like, oh my God, I killed my real friend, my pimp. And I'm like, <laughs> it's so hard to keep up with this. And they were like, are you serious? I don't think I remember your face here. Are you the dog that crawled out of the dog fur and then put her boyfriend in the dog fur? And they glued it together with the all-purpose glue. So I can't seem to find my glue. With the all-purpose glue. glue pistols, and then I took the needles and I put them in my nipples and I was like, milk everywhere for your cereal. And he was like, oh. <laughs> milk everywhere for your cereal. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what got me right now. And then she was like, Tiffany, one, two, five, eight, one, two, five, six. They have a full size Germanium, Jamaican, like hot tubs, right? Somebody's locked in the bathroom, right? So I'm like, I'm the engineer. Hello, drug dealer, smuggling dick ass is not allowed in there. <laughs> like, I'm so in love with you. Somebody took my dick and balls. I said, get a clone and grow it and let the ball does that come out your anus. And let the dick come off the top of you. I thought everyone was going to change, right? What, what goes on in these public? Oh my God. It, what is, she's on a weird one. Well, she's always on a weird one, but this. And let the ball, does that come out your anus? And let the dick come off the top of you. I what, thought what, everyone was going to change, right? What, what goes on in these public washrooms that are out here on Skid Row? Everything. They pulled me up off the floor and they dusted off my shoulders and said, we are microphone ready for you, Diamond. Juliana. Do I call you Juliana or Diamond? You may call me Janky Blood, Diamond, Demon Sums, Sister, Summer Legend. I'll stick with Juliana. Um, Juliana is what, what, so my what? identical twin sister, and I'm Diamond, her identical twin sister. <laughs> Tell me about what goes on in the bathrooms down here. Sex and lots of drug burning and hammering to my nails. Like they want to make sure it's pressed on for real. That's really what I think they're for. Yes, and then hammers are back in the day are used to move a flint without touching the dryers. And so I was told that I can say things like Colitim, Fourth Alameda, parking lot is now open for pedestrians. But like to- <laughs> I'm done, dude. I'm done. We got a little video. Oh my God. I'm sure this one's gonna be yellow. This, she, she, anyways, man. There was a quick video for you guys today. I'm, I'm feeling under the weather because of my dumb ass drinking last night. Um, Whoever saw the live last night, thank you guys for being there. We went on one. We had fun. But anyways, everybody, please uh, be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them, right? I'm out.